Hey guys, Lego Freak here, and um, I did not upload um, on Thursday. I uh, wanted to, but it was a crazy busy day, and I didn't really have time, so I apologize for that. But uh, of course, I am back on my schedule once again, so no worries, videos will be flowing out now, <laughs> um, hopefully. Now, um, I recently hit 900 subscribers, which blows my mind. I wanted to do something special, but this came so fast. It was six days ago that I posted my Captain America tutorial, and when I posted that, I had 799 subscribers. And I am, I am now at 934. You guys are amazing. And um, just, oh my gosh, thank you so much. So I wanted to do something special, but I had absolutely no idea what to do. So we're going to do a tutorial today. Um, and I have a few ideas for my 1,000 subscriber special because that is coming up ridiculously fast. And I want to make sure that I can get out a good special video for you guys for that so I'll, um, I'm gonna do something hopefully really special but it depends on how quickly that comes so anyways we got some shout outs to go through um, but the first shout out that I want to give is to a special friend of mine wavy films I'll put psh, his uh, the picture up here um, and big thank you to him because he just had me in one of his videos his hundred subscriber special and if you ask me he deserves a lot more subscribers so go over there to wavy films um, check out his customs he has some awesome stuff um, he has a really cool, um, his Legends of Tomorrow showcase was amazing, and I really want to see a Civil War showcase, which I haven't seen yet because it's pretty long, but, um, yeah, so go over there and check it out, make sure to subscribe, um, because I guarantee you if you like my stuff, you'll like his stuff, so yeah, um, anyways, now we'll get into the actual shoutouts, um, for the video, so, um, yeah, anyways, let's do this, first one goes to Lego Iron Man Studios. So yeah. Next one goes to Dawn of Justice Productions. Yeah. Uh, the next one goes to Crumpler Cape 97. There you go. Next one goes to Alex Taylor. Um, then after that is Baffling Lego Films. So yeah. Um, after that is whoosh, Croc Q. So, yeah. After that is whoosh, HMD Brick Customs. So, yeah. After that is whoosh, the Lego Customizer. Ooh. Um, and then whoosh, Lego Cyborg Creator. And the last one for today goes to whoosh, Hypixel Studio. So yeah. Anyways, that about does it for a shout out. So we're just going to jump into this uh, tutorial and um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys. And the minifigure for today is Falcon from the movie Captain America: Civil War. Now I showed this figure in my Captain America: Civil War showcase, um, and also his bird Red Wing over there. So I'm going to show you how to build that, as well as um, do a tutorial on this minifig here. Um, now, uh, I know there's going to be a billion comments on this video saying that I copied somebody, but I did not. Uh, I just want to say that now. Um, yes, mine looks very similar to other customizers, but no, I did not copy anybody because uh, people could not stop saying that on my Civil War video. So anyways, um, but now that we've covered that, uh, let's go ahead and get into the tools that I used. All right, and the tools I used for this particular minifigure include silver paint, gray paint, uh, dark gray paint black paint and black paint now this is gloss black and this is flat black if you are a uh, someone who's seen quite a few of my videos then you'll know that I've used this technique a few times so I did use gloss black and flat black um, and the difference is basically this one's well glossy it's more shiny and this one's more dull so yeah I also did use light gray paint bright red paint and a darker maroon paint and of course a paintbrush and a thumbtack for details so yeah let's go ahead and get into the pieces that I used Alright guys, so basically the pieces I used for this particular minifigure. Now this head was the head that came with War Machine in the new Civil War sets, uh, the airport one. And I didn't really like that head for War Machine, but I thought it would be a pretty good head to use for Falcon. So that's the head. The torso and legs are from um, one of the Ultron... Um, Goons, I guess, one of the Ultron robots. Um, not Ultron himself, but one of his little robot 
um, things. Um, so yeah, and um, the arms are just uh, brown arms, and the wings were from the original Lego Falcon, the very first one that Lego made, the the comic based one. And these two guns are um, they're from a Creo set. If you don't know, Creo is kind of an off brand of Lego, and these are from some of the sets. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the actual painting tutorial. Alright guys, so um, for this minifigure, basically the first thing that I started with was, um, now keep in mind, um, I actually painted this torso a couple months, actually quite some time ago. Um, it was, um, yeah, I basically I painted the, uh, a version of this torso, like when the very first references came out. Uh, but that one wasn't very good, so I redid it again a bit later, but still that was quite some time ago. So my painting has improved slightly since I did this torso, and I might update it in the near future. But uh, yeah, so basically, um, there's just a lot of detail. So basically, the first thing I started with was the two pectoral kind of pads. So I started up here, and then traced, uh, just did the, or not traced, but I painted this line that curves down and then curved around. So, um, yeah, so just imagine a blank gray torso, which is this line that I'm showing you now. Um, so, yeah, I painted that, and then I did the same on the other side, so starting here and then curving all the way around. Then the next thing I did was um, I painted, <coughs> uh, excuse me, uh, this line here, so just same on this side, of course. And then I painted this line going down, and then these two curved lines going this way. So, um, yeah, and then, of course, um, I painted two lines here or one here and one here and filled the middle in with silver and of course two silver bits up here as well then the next thing that I did was I painted this line going down and then just basically a, a little rectangle there and a black line through it and filled these two sides in with silver then I painted this part so keep in mind this line was already here and I painted like down and then just curved it back up and same on this side and I filled that in with red put a black line through the middle and then did two lines in silver on the sides there and then I did um, these two lines coming off and kind of attaching to this buckle piece here. Then the next thing that I did was I painted these little ovals on the side. So just three down, um, a long one, a medium one, and a short one. Same on this side. Um, and then I painted this line that just curves from here down to just about here. And same on this side. Then I painted... Move your arm, Falcon. Um, then I painted uh, this little uh, these two little lines just like that and then one next to it um, which is where this line comes down to then I painted these two lines here and here um, and then I painted this line um, as well and of course same on this side and then for this middle pad thing um, I just basically painted a line out and then just curved it around and back down one line across here kind of a u-shaped line right here and then another kind of um, just a half circle up here and then four lines going up there. So um, yeah, now for the legs, legs are pretty simplistic. Just a line from here going all the way up and another one going all the way up. Same on this side and then a line going from here down across the leg. So it's a little hard to see, but it goes across that way. Um, so yeah, then, um, oh yeah, on the belt, duh. Um, also, uh, so on the belt, um, I painted just basically a little, um, Kind of a c-shape basically with silver same on this side then a little triangle with silver and then outlined it in black same on this side put a black dot in the middle and then two lines connecting those together um now down here i painted kind of the two little knee pads so just a black outline fold that in with light gray and then the kind of the shin guard with a black line um, and then a black line going across for the boot pattern and then put gray in there as well um, that's light gray, not dark gray. Now for the arms, basically I sculpted shoulder pads, which I do have an in-depth sculpting tutorial where I show how to sculpt shoulder pads. Um, then basically what I did was I did a black outline and filled in the middle with silver. And then also I painted a black line going um, up and across this way and then filled the, that inner part with red. And same on this side. So yeah. Um, and then for the... I did his sleeve here coming off, so just some gray right there, and then gray on this side and outlined that in black. Now on this side, the wristband or wrist guard, whatever, is a bit bigger, so um, it's uh, obviously bigger than the one on that side, and it's just gray on the black out outline as well, and then I filled in the middle with um, that maroon color. You can see the little pattern, and then I put a silver dot right there just for some added detail. Now for the head, pretty much what I did was the mouth I did not paint, of course. Um, I just took some black and did his goatee 
um, and his like uh, mustache and stuff, um, basically his facial hair. And then I took that dark gray and I did his glasses. So just put them around the eyes, and then of course the strap goes around the head. Um, and I filled this part in with maroon as well. And you can actually see his eyes through there a little bit if you look. Now for the hair, I use flat black um, just to give it some separation from the black on his outfit. Just painted um, at the hairline and, you know, the hair details that go all the way around. So where his ear would be and then just all the way around the, uh, the figure. So yeah, now for the sides of his legs, you can see... And I continued the black line across here, and I made these little, I believe they're holsters for his Uzis, but I'm not altogether sure. So basically, um, I took a piece of that plastic um, um, that I showed in my Captain America video, and I just cut a little square and painted it light gray, put it on his leg, and then I painted a black square on it with a silver kind of a outline on it like that. So yeah, and of course, uh, same on the, whoa, <laughs> come on Falcon. Same on the other side here, just a piece of plastic with the black square and the uh, silver part, and of course the continuing line from the uh, shoes. Now for the wings, you can see quite a bit of work went into these, um, and if I need to do a tutorial on just the wings themselves in the future, I will, but I'll kind of explain a little bit of what I did. So first thing that I did was I cut out these little sections on the side of the wings where you can see where the wing goes up, um, right there and right here. And same on this side, I just basically took some of my big old uh, orange wire cutters uh, that I've showed in a few videos and I just cut out a big old section and then sanded it smooth. Same on this side, of course, you can see that big old chunk was taken out of the side of the wing there. And then also did some on the top, so I took some out there and of course sanded it smooth. So you know, that's how I got the shape of the wing and then basically it was a matter of painting like these um, like feather parts, I guess. Um, just painting those red and those on that side as well and painting this top part black um, and then basically I painted this part red as well and um, two little black sections down here and then this black section which I kind of outlined in silver you can see so black and then it goes down and then across the tip of the wing so same on that side and um, yeah and then there are some black lines that go down behind the figure you can see that there and uh, there so yeah not much on the back which I do want to update in the future um, but yeah it's basically just the red feather parts there and there the black part and then this jet pack which now I realize is not accurate but at the time I didn't have that many references so um, yeah basically it's a Star Wars jet pack that I cut the piece off of and um, uh, then I just painted it light gray put a black line up the middle painted the tips red and then that part red as well so um yeah that was pretty simplistic so yeah let's go ahead and get into how i made red wing so guys right now i kind of have you on an up view ish of um red wing now this was um keep in mind this was before there was like any references out for it um so basically i wanted to kind of not do what lego did with their design and just kind of be unique with mine so and yeah, if you're wondering where these wings are from they are from yeah, let me grab it this guy, this battle mech, which was in one of the Lego series, he had some wings on the back of his um, armor, and that's where I got these little wings from. So yeah, other pieces, um, this slope piece, this one by one uh, tile, these two flick missile pieces, and then also, um, I'll explain the hook bar uh, parts in a minute. <clears throat> and um, and also, you can see the, the beak there, which was basically one of the, um, you know, the Lego tooth pieces, the one by one tooth pieces um, that I did some modifying to. So, yeah, basically, um, I'm going to kind of try and explain exactly what I did. Um, so, pretty much what I did was I took uh, a one by two Lego piece with the hooks on the side. And then I took another one and I cut the hooks off and glued them on this. So basically, um, it's just a one by two with two hooks and I glued the other two on. Then I put in the two flick missile pieces and painted the this uh, thing around it red. Um, so yeah. And then with uh, the wings, I painted those gray, light gray with the um, maroon bits as well. Um, and then I took the one by one hook or toothpiece and put it here. And I took another one, cut the tooth off, and glued it on the bottom. So you can see that there. That's how it looks. So, um, 
because again, I didn't know exactly what it looked like. This isn't very accurate now, but I'm just showing you how to make it because I made this before there was any references. Of course, the one by one um, tile piece, which I painted two red lines on, and then the slope piece in the back. So yeah, that's how I made it and uh, painted it. So hopefully that was clear enough for you guys. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Alright guys, that about wraps up this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe. Um, you guys have been subscribing like crazy lately, so thank you. I'm so close to 1,000. It's it's amazing. Now, if you're still here, thank you, by the way, if you're still here. Um, I want to kind of suggest something for my 1,000 subscriber video. So what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see a video Q&A or a live Q&A? Do you want me to live stream and you can ask me questions that way? Uh, which I think would be pretty cool. But if you guys just want to see a video Q&A where you send me questions and like, you know. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see like a video Q&A, a live Q&A, something else. What do you guys want to see? I have some things planned. I'm making kind of a special little video of clips from past videos, but you, you guys will see that. Um, so yeah, what do you guys want to see for that? Because um, I'm pretty much down with whatever. So hopefully you guys give me some suggestions. I probably should have put this at the beginning of the video. Good job, Lego Freak. Anyways, um, but again, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I mean, six days ago, I had 800 subs, and now I have 934 um, last time I checked. So that is amazing. Thank you guys for all the support. Shout out to my, my subscribers, the people who give me nice comments. Shout out to my haters, because I have quite a few. Now, if you're watching this video, and um, if you're, if you, if you're going to put a mean comment in, in the comments, keep something in mind. If you put swear words in the comments I will delete your comment whether it's good bad if there's a swear word it's leaving so if you want to put a mean comment don't put any swear words and it will remain on my channel but as soon as there's a swear word in it boom, it's gone so yeah um, that's just something that I do with my videos because I don't want that kind of stuff on my channel so anyways this has been Lego Freak peace <laughs>